And Ryan Berg found out how to properly dispose of all those leaves and yard waste in the city of Helena. With the fall season just beginning, it's getting cold and leaves are starting to fall. It's important to pick up, clear, and maintain your lawn from leaves. Letting leaves collect on the street can create a problem for city equipment and possibly damage street cleaning equipment, creating a domino effect through the winter and into next spring. But some of the challenges we face is, uh, you know, too many leaves end up in the streets. We risk equipment getting broken um, or are simply not being able to, to clean the streets well enough. Um, and then leaves are frozen and then, you know, sticking around for, for the remainder of the year. Residents are urged to call if they have any questions. If you have questions, re, uh, contact the city, um, especially with leaf disposal. Uh, we do have uh, green waste disposal, yard waste disposal at the transfer station year-round, um, but there are some ways that you can have uh, bags of leaves picked up from your home if you need help. Um, so definitely don't hesitate to contact the transfer station uh, for more information on how we can help with, with leaf disposal. The city does offer curbside leaf disposal by request. Staff can pick up less than 80 pounds and no more than 12 bags per request. Permit holders will have the weight deducted from their annual allotment. Maintaining your property and properly collecting yard waste helps the city more than you realize. We appreciate everybody uh, doing their part and helping to keep uh, not only their yards clean the leaves, but keeping the sidewalks and streets cleaned because uh, it does impact a lot more than just um, you know, our streets this time of year. It does affect our streets going into the winter and next spring, so we really appreciate it. The city recommends that everyone participates in clearing their lawn of leaves. In Helena, Reinberg, MTN News. Well, Helena Public Schools bus schedule is going back to normal. This is the last week of rolling suspensions. Due to a shortage of bus drivers, the district started the school year with a four-week rotation bus schedule similar to the previous years. The rotating schedule meant one week per month. Parents were responsible for taking their children to school. According to district officials, the last few years have been challenging when it comes to hiring bus drivers. At the beginning of last month, the district said they needed at least 11 more bus drivers before the schedule could go back to normal. The district thanked first student for their work to enable the regular transportation schedule to start again and adds they are still recruiting bus drivers.